In this tutorial, I'm gonna show you how to create this creative background that you can use in Zoom. So I wanna show you how to create this really simple design that I've done in Illustrator, and you can use it as a Zoom background. So in order for us to create this, the first thing we need to do is actually create an artboard. I've got one over here, and what you need to actually do is make it a size of 1920 by 1080. So if you press Control N in Illustrator, you should get a box that pops up, as you can see here. And you just wanna you know, select web large, or you can put in the width and the height there. Once you've done that, then what I wanna do is bring over my swatch panel, and I'm going to press M for the rectangle tool, drag a box out, and then select one of my brand colors. So I've got orange, I've got blue, purple, yellow. But for this one, I went for the blue one, cause it just has a nice vibe. Now what I'm gonna actually do is drag in my logo, and I have an Illustrator file here with some of the logos that I created. And I got this white version. I'm just gonna control C and control V and paste that in. And scale that down, holding shift. And if you've got a PNG or whatever file, a JPEG, that's fine. You just bring that into the design. So now that I'm happy with this, I'm just gonna lock the background because I don't want it to be moving around. I'm gonna press P for the pen tool. And I sort of wanna create this nice frame. So I'm gonna left click on the edge. So you can see the edge of the logo here. I'm gonna use that as a guide. Left click and then hold shift and scroll all the way down using my the space bar to grab and move. And holding shift and left click once. And then I'm gonna select my yellow color for the stroke. I'm gonna press shift X to flip the fill to the stroke. And now we've got a really cool stroke here. I'm gonna just bump up the weight to maybe four points, as you can see in the stroke panel. She's looking really good. Then what I'm going to do is I'm going to duplicate this. So I'm going to press L, draw a circle in the middle of the artboard, select this stroke and press O for the reflect tool. And then I'm gonna go into the middle, hold Alt, left click once, and then all I have to do is just reflect it and press copy. So we wanna flip it to the other side. So now we know it's directly on the other side with the exact amount of space we need. Quickly delete that. Then what I'm gonna do is start to type out some of the things that I want. So for example, I can type in 2021, let's just say class, make that white. I'm using the font uniform. I've been using that a lot on Instagram, so I really like that. And I'm just gonna put that at the end there, which is really cool. I'm gonna hold Alt and Shift, drag it all the way to the bottom. And what I'm doing is I'm aligning the text. So you can see if you got the stroke right and the text, I'm sort of aligning that. It doesn't have to be 100%, but I like to sort of visually have that there. Then I'm gonna put my website, jeremymiro.com and then hold shift and move, click and drag that. And then I'm gonna hold Alt and shift and bring it up. Click and drag to bring it up. Then what I can do, I can align it to the top or you know, I can align it to the bottom of the academy. And then I'm gonna go hello at jeremymira.com to drop down my email there, move that like this. And now we've sort of had this frame. I'm gonna just select everything and bump it up with my arrow key because it's just a bit too far close down. So I'm gonna bump it up just like that. Beautiful, that's looking cool. Now I wanna quickly drop in a texture. And that leads me to go onto Envato Elements, which is today's sponsor. I love using Envato Elements because you can get super cool textures, like I'm getting these marble textures, as you can see here. But they've got so many different elements. So if I wanna to go to my graphics content and type in, let's say, a background, you can see you can get all these abstract backgrounds, you know, with art and, you know, gold and paper all these different cool textures. So if you do want to check out Invita Elements, click on the link below in the description and to check it out because I think it's really cool and I use it all the time every day. So I found those marble textures and I downloaded them. Now what I'm gonna do is just open the folder. As you can see here, they come in a few formats. So I've got like a reverse style and the stand style, but I went through and selected one of these ones. I really like a lot of these. And for this one, I selected the number two. Just had a really cool texture. You can see if I zoom in, there's a lot of little fragments and vector points, which is cool. I'm just gonna zoom out and then hold Shift and Alt, scale that down. 
And for me, what I like to do is go to my transparency panel. And then I like to press multiply. And you can see it multiplies that color, that gray or darker color onto the blue background. It's too dark. So what I want to do is drop the opacity to 35%. And then now you can see, I'm just going to drag that away. You can see now we have that cool texture. I'm just going to press control shift and the left square bracket. Then I'm going to press control right square bracket just to bring it up. So it's behind the text there. So it's not covering the text because before it was above the text. Beautiful. So now we've got this background. Now what I'm going to do is actually save it. So you can go to file, you can go uh, export, export as or save for web. So let's go back, go click save for web. And for this one, I'm just going to bring this window so you can see it. So for this window, what you want to do is you want to save it as a JPEG is fine and the quality, you know, make it like 90 or uh, 85 is fine. Usually progressive is on, that's fine. And then I press save. I'm going to save it to my downloads folder. So let's go zoom underscore BG 2021. Now what I'm going to do is go into my zoom. I'm just going to minimize this. So I'm going to go into my zoom and start a new meeting. So you can see we've got uh, our thing. I won't start the video yet. So to finally add the background, what you have to do is go to the bottom left. And what I'm going to do, I'm just going to turn my video on. Because I'm using my webcam right now, I you know, can't be using it. So what you can actually do is click the little arrow here, choose virtual background. Then what you want to do is click this little plus button in the background and filters menu. It's located on the little right corner. I'm going to click add image, locate your image wherever it is. So mine is in the downloads folder, click open and I've already added it in. So I can go over here and click that background and then click X. So now you can see the backgrounds there. And when I show up my face, I'll be right in the center here. So that's basically how you create a zoom background. It's great if you have a class or you're teaching someone, or maybe you're doing a webinar or a coaching session, then this is a cool way to add some of your graphics, your elements, your branding, and it's really gonna help you, you know, be more professional and look more clean and cool. So thanks so much for watching this, this tutorial. Remember to smash the like button and subscribe for more amazing content every week. I look forward to seeing you in the next one.